So alarm priorities is, um, is basically assigning a priority to alarm that we could also use in filtering and, and use throughout the alarming process. But it allows us to categorize those alarms into how critical they happen to be. So after you configure an, any alarm, you also need to give it that priority. Uh, there are five priority levels in ignition. Zero is diagnostic, one is low, two is medium, three is high, and four is critical. And again, this follows very much, this is what the alarm management handbook presents. And diagnostic alarms are generally just troubleshooting alarms, uh, not considered to be serious alarms. So you typically want to filter those out for any notification or if you or storing potentially in the database. Or maybe you have a different database for your diagnostic ones. The priorities here can affect how an alarm appears in the alarm status and how it's escalated through the pipeline. The alarm management handbook says that only 20% of your alarms in a system should be at a high or emergency level. So most of your alarms will probably be at that lower priority. You want to think about reducing alarms. Uh, if an alarm doesn't require a response or an action, then maybe it should be diagnostic or maybe it should be low. So it's, it's one of these things that is there. It's a, it's a filtering mechanism in alarming systems. And if you use it correctly, you can really get the most out of, of that. It's just you know, a value that we can use in filtering. So I want to show another demonstration here about the priorities of alarms and ignition, how they can get set up, and how we can also then use those on screens. So again, I'm going to go back here to the designer. And on a particular tag, so here, say if I go to my machine fault, looking at that alarm again here, I can see that at the top there is a priority. And there goes that diagnostic all the way to critical. So on this machine fault, I've given it a high um, priority there. And I've went through and I've done that in all the tags we have here. If I go to my tank level, it has two uh, alarms here, a low and a high. The low is a low priority and the high is a critical priority. So I've really figured out which ones I need to have in these different levels. I have one at the very bottom, was, is uh, let's say a machine's locked out, maybe a lockout, tagout type procedure here. If I look at that and go to the alarm, I do want to see that information somewhere. I, I, it's not that I don't want to, to be in the system, I just don't want to use it for uh, you know, alarms are going to get notified and, and really be used on the screen. I just want to use it to, for diagnostic purposes, for troubleshooting purposes. So I've put the priority here to diagnostic and we could, you know, filter those out. So we went through and determined the right priority for all the alarms. So we can come back at any moment and do this. And one thing that is really easy if you want to come in and, and you know, figure them all out at the end, you can export all of these alarms to a, an XML format and you can go and look at those and potentially change them. So once you have those those priorities configured, then on a screen, of course, we can filter it for status, for history, as well as for notification. So if I go back here to the second uh, tab, which is the alarm priorities, you can see the top, I have a chooser for all of my different levels. And look, I'm looking right now at the diagnostic ones down at the bottom. If I go to one, I can see all of the low ones. You can see the priority here being low. If I go to two, I can see all of the medium ones, again, looking at the medium, and, and so on and so forth, high as well as critical alarms. So that way, maybe I have certain screens in certain areas that I just look at these different priorities rather than looking at all of them at the same time. 